what are the requirements to be enrolled in a program in your uh, community college? Okay. Yeah, so every community college is, is different. At Metropolitan Community College in Omaha, we are an open enrollment institution, meaning we will take any student at any time. So, uh, and, and that really uh, varies on uh, by the student. So some students want to start in the fall, some want to start in the spring. We'll take you whenever you want to start. We will be there to help support you in your educational and career goals. Um, but um, the, the barrier to enrollment is really low. Uh, we just need to, we need proof that you finished high school. Um, that can be through a GED, that can be through um, a, a, a maybe from a foreign country if you um, t have certain test scores. Um, we just want to make sure that you can handle the, the coursework at the community college level and we'll find a place for you. So all you need to see, let's say I'm getting ready to go to community college, I'm really considering and I need to put the application together, what should be in that application? Just a high school diploma or something else? Yeah. Do you have any uh, other requirements? No. We, we do require that you take a placement test. Um, that'll tell us how, um, how good you are at math and how good you are um, at English, uh, reading and writing, so that we can put you in the right class. So um, if your math is a little low, we have some developmental uh, remedial classes to bring your math skills up to college level math. Um, but we just need to know where to start you. Um, so some students come in with high school diplomas, um, others just take the, the placement test and we figure out where they should start in their program. Even though they may not have the high school diploma, they take the placement test. And the, so first you enroll them and then you give the placement test, we, is that right? That's correct, yep. Okay. yep. They kind of happen around the same time so okay. that we know which class to enroll them into. Um, but we have a, a full spectrum of um, educational offerings so um, we know where, which class to start students um, and then make an educational plan so they can uh, go from where they start to where they want to be all through our community college. And once, the, let's say the placement, the, a student took the placement test and you have identified which classes he needs to know, does he go and uh, register for those or do you have advising service? Oh, how we, how we does have that, a, I mean, a puzzled student doesn't know what to do, what, what can they do? We have a lot of student support. Uh, we have enrollment navigators, we have academic advisors, so any student who is curious about what, sh what classes they should take, what sequence should those classes be, we have plenty of um, student services that can help uh, answer those questions to make sure that students find the right path and that they stay on the right path um, so that we can get them into the workplace as, as quickly as possible. All right. Um, now, Chris, can you please tell us who can enroll in your community college? What is the majority of your student population? Yeah. So we, again, we're an open enrollment. So we, we accept students from all ages, all backgrounds. Maybe they took a few years off after high school, didn't know what they wanted to be when they grew up. Life happens. They realize this is what I want to be when I grow up and I need to go to Metropolitan Community College to find my way. Our average student is 26 years old. so. Um, on average, they're about eight years removed from high school. Um, they may need to brush up on some math, maybe some English, but um, we really do have a, um, a very focused student body. They know what they want to be when they grow up. Some of them come with full-time jobs. Um, most of them come with families, family commitments. So um, we have a student population that is really committed to learning to improve the lives of the, themselves and their families. Um, but we have students that are 18, we have some students that are 14, we have some students that are 75. So we will take anybody and everybody um, that wants to maybe change their careers, they want to learn a new skill, um, or just try something different, come to Metropolitan Community College and we'll find a, a path for you. Okay, so there's no uh, age limit. Not at Only all. Only the desire to improve your knowledge. That's it. If you come in with passion, uh, we will find a way to harness that passion into, into a career for you. All right. And um, how about international students? Do you, do you accept, do you admit international students? We do. We have about 200 international students at Metropolitan Community College right now. We actually have an international student coordinator, so there's somebody who um, is, is really their academic advisor, can really help um, um, support the students with, uh, with special needs like uh, international students. They're, um, their backgrounds, their situations, the things that they're struggling with 
outside of the community college may be different. Um, so we have um, special staff in place to help support um, that student population. Okay, uh, if we could go back to the group of, uh, of your student population that doesn't have or comes through the GED, and I may be wrong, but I assume that some of them are uh, immigrants that didn't mm -hmm. earn their high mm -hmm. school here, mm -hmm. but uh, got their GED. Right. Do they have to go through the TOEFL test, test of English as a second language? It's a good question. I'm not for sure the specifics on all what testing is required for what programs, but I do know that we, um, we have a, a large immigrant population in Omaha. Metropolitan Community College is the only adult education program in the, in the area. So uh, we have ESL programs, we have GED classes. So um, again, wherever a, a student is on their educational path, um, they can come to us. We can put them in the right class and get them on the right path. And how, is, uh, how long is the academic year? My understanding is that it's a little different from a regular university yeah. program. Is that right? That is correct. Can you explain that to us? Absolutely. So uh, Metropolitan Community College works on a quarter system. So most universities have two semesters a year. We have four quarters. And, uh, and so what that means for, for our students is that there's a lot of opportunity to start. Right? So as opposed to just starting in the fall or spring, you can start fall, spring, winter, summer, whatever season it is, when you decide you're ready to come to school and improve your life, we're, we have new classes starting right around the corner. And um, now, when you say quarter, is that three months, right? Three yep. months, semester, and you, can you just come just for one semester and then leave and then come back again? Absolutely. We, we, we have a, a lot of ways into MCC. We also have a lot of ways out. Uh, again, our student population is uh, really fluid. They may start, they may take a couple classes, and then, you know, life happens. They, they have another child, they have a sick, uh, a sick parent, maybe they need to leave the country for a while. Um, and then when they come back, we're, we're ready to accept them again, put them back in the classroom, and, and keep them going on their, on their educational and career path. I was reading about your community college and it's so diverse and you offer so many programs, but if you can pinpoint what is the most successful program in your community college, <laughs> what degree like or major that yeah, would be? That's like picking which kid do you love most. I mean, that really is a, a tough question. We have, uh, we have phenomenal programs um, across the board. Um, I would say that our culinary program is top notch, um, recognized across the country as one of the best programs. Um, we have, uh, we, we built a new construction education center, so we, we put all the construction trades like plumbing, electrical, HVAC into one building and together those different trades are, they're literally building a house inside a building and that house then gets um, put out into the community on a foundation and somebody will live in that house. So um, it's a really cool to see these individual trades programs working together on a big project. Um, that the community can use. Um, we have uh, IT is a, is a big one, health. I, I don't wanna pick because we, we do uh, receive a lot of recognition from a lot of different areas about um, our top-notch hands-on training programs.